Hello, my name is Shumani and today I'll be talking about the coronary arteries. Coronary arteries are important in supplying the walls of the heart. It supplies the walls of the heart 24 hours a day and 7 days a week. Therefore, proper functioning of the coronary arteries are important for a healthy heart. The coronary arteries will arise from a place called the coronary sinus at the root of the ascending aorta. It first starts off at the right coronary sinus. It starts from behind the pulmonary trunk and runs along the atrioventricular groove. Take note that it runs between the right auricle and the pulmonary trunk. As it winds along the atrioventricular groove, it will then wind around the inferior margin of the heart. Before that, it will give off a right marginal branch. At the posterior surface of the heart, it sits along the atrioventricular groove. This atrioventricular groove is also known as the coronary sulcus. It then terminates left to the crux of the heart and anastomoses with the left circumflex artery. The crux of the heart is the junction point of the interatrial sulcus, the interventricular sulcus, and the atrioventricular sulcus. The right coronary artery will give off important branches that, that supply the chambers of the heart. The branch here is the posterior interventricular branch. It supplies the posterior one-third of the interventricular septum. And as you all know, the interventricular septum is important uh, as it is the major pump of the heart. Over here, as discussed earlier, this is the right marginal branch. There are other branches as well, called the conus, conus branch, which, which will supply the right ventricle of the heart. There are other br atrial branches that come off the right coronary artery that supply the conducting system of the heart. Namely, it will supply the SA node and the AV node of the right atrium. In summary, the right coronary artery will supply the right atrium most of the right ventricle and uh, inferior, inferior part of the left ventricle.